こんにちは、アッチャートマスターの根崎ゆきです。4月11日、木曜日のセッションリキャップ取っていきたいと思います。よろしくお願いいたします。それでは、始めていきましょう。So, we're going to start over here. This is a session recap for the 10th of April. So,、uh, Yo Dollar is all of a sudden turning to the downside. Are they looking for it? Remember, we're not going to take the stage of the stuff here. And right now, they're going nowhere near that. Alright, so what does it look like? It's like a much deeper retracement here. We're going to have to watch that pound. Because、right, so、if the euro is going down, what are they doing with the dollar? Let's go look at what they're doing with the dollar. The buying dollar.、Right? So that forces the euro and the pound to go to the downside. Because、right? that's the opposite side of the trade. So we got a little buying, but it could all, this could stop right here, as you can see. You know, very quickly, this could be a little pop up to the, to the support, and now we go to the downside. So,、uh, so we don't worry about it yet. Uh, so, we're looking for the euro to bounce and go to the upside. Our opportunity is here. We can all see it above the 3100. Euro dollar is here. Euro dollar is here. Euro dollar is here. Euro dollar is here. We can get above 3100 right here, which is the even number.、Uh, they've already taken it out, so it's not really a big problem here. And our trade is up to this area right here. Moving our stop at the R3, moving our stop at the 618, moving our stop at the first PSR, and trying to stay into the 3112. There's another trade above here, which could happen, but the APR of the euro is only 102 pips, which would only be this move right here. All right, so we can't count on that up there, but this one right here is possible. Bridge pound. We're looking for this to continue. We are in this trade already. All right? And you see, every time they come down looking for buyers, they find buyers. They stop right here on this line. We're looking for this trade up to the 618 fib and maybe the one kilo、uh, Fibonacci up here. Again, the APR is 100 pips on this one also. So we actually have a further move that we could go up here. 100 pips is 3 T30. Okay, there's 1, 2, 3. So there's a, there's a probability if we get this on, we could get all the way up to here. All right? But right now, the 1270 is sitting on the trend line. Now, they won't go straight up to this, obviously. So, yeah, if they go slowly, we got a good chance of getting up to here.、Right. ポンドドルです。ポンドドルも上に跳ね返るのを待っていて、まあ、マイナス 0.270 フィブ。で、ゆっくり上がってきたら、上の PSR まで行くんじゃないでしょうかと。CAD is nothing until we get a sell.、Right. Nothing until we get a sell. We have to break this bottom. We're in a wedge. What do we do when we're in a wedge? We run. So we're looking for that opportunity and then this big one down below here. Unless we get that, there is no trade on the CAD. Let's see. There is no trade until we get a pullback.、Right. We're at the bottom of a trend line here. We are, the dollar is being bought, so you can see the SWIFT is going up.、Right. So we're looking to come up maybe to the heart line here. We get up in this area here, we then would have another trade back down to here. They've taken this target out, so the next target is here. o u r opportunity would be up in this area right up in here.、Right. So back up to 93.66, and we'll look at all these targets are taken out. So we're going to move this back up to 93.66. All these targets are out, so they don't actually exist in here. They're now barriers. ドルフランですね。ドルフランは戻ってきたら売っていきたいねと。バリアになっているところまであの戻ってきたら売っていきたいねと。But they're no longer targets. The target is 9277. Alright, nothing to do on the yen, any of them. Just stay out of them until we get a retracement. We're in a rising wedge on the Aussie dollar. We've continued up the hill here. We've actually taken out the 618 fib and we've taken out the trend line. It's over, folks. That trade is over. <laughs> えー、OG ドルです。OG ドルはライジングウェッジっていう形,形にありましたけども、まあもう抜けてきたんで、このトレンドラインおしまいですねと。で、円絡みなんですけども、円絡みすることないよねで、どの通貨もやることないよねと言っています。So they could take it up to there, absolutely they could take it up there, but we have a rising wedge, which is a sell sign, to the back to the downside. So we'll wait until we get this, this pullback here. If we get a pullback, especially if we get a nice deep one down into here, then we'll take this trade again, and now we have room to this one up here. 
Uh, right now we don't have room, we're at the top of the trend line. It's hard to break the trend, trend line up to there. But if they pull it back, then we can get to it, see? So, we'll see. With the rising wedge in here, I'm not real fired up about taking that trade. But it should only come down as low as the channel and still keep working the channel. Everybody see that? It still work this channel. えー、まあプルバックしてこないと話になりませんとでプルバックしてきたらこれチャンネルの中でアップトレンドのチャンネルの中で、えー、推移するかもしれませんと9ドルも同じくプルバックしてきて、えー、から買っていきたいよねとチャンネルの中で推移してて買っていきたいよねと But I have to break rules to do it, and I'm not going to trade it. I'll find something else.、Right? I'm not going to be a rules breaker just because there's an opportunity there. All right. All right, Euro pound coming back down, and that's good for us. We need it to come back down so that we can find the buy.、All、right, So maybe we're going to do a channel down here now. I don't know. If this turns, it looks like it might be turning.、All、right, If this turns, then this would be the channel. All right, And that looks pretty good, actually. えー、ユーロ王子、ユーロポンドですけど、まあ、チャネルラインができてきて、まあ、ユーロポンドに限ってはあ新しいチャンネルができそうですよねみたいなことを言ってて、まあ、ユーロ王子はブレイクしてきてこう、あのーまあ、戻りを一応変えるみたいな感じですけど、まあ、ニュービーズ初心者はやめた方がいいよねとで続いてユーロカナダですね。えー、ユーロカナダは、まあ、全部すべてなんかああのあれですよ、ね、ターニングしてきてますよね、こう反転してきてますよね。でもしまあ、これ売りで見ていきたいんですけども、この長いキャンドルをスクエアアップ。この 50% フィブぐらいまで来なくちゃおかしいよねっていうことを言っています。
Right. Good opportunity right there. Right. If for some reason they bounce and stay inside the wedge, there's nothing we can do until we break out of the wedge. If we break out of the wedge, we're coming up to the PSR of 3386. So we'll take either one of those. We don't care. Right, so I'm going to put this up here. We've got to be about 33.23 to take that trade. Cad yen at the top, nothing to do. New Zealand yen at the top, nothing to do. And they keep moving up, folks, and there's no way we can trade them. As, hard, as much as I'd like to be in these trades, I cannot trade them. I cannot trade them because I don't have a trend. Right. So it's tough. I know. I've been in these situations before, and, it's, and everything in your brain says, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. And Murphy's Law is alive and well in the forex. And, and let me tell you, when, it, it, when you enter the trade, is that not the place where the market turns against you? That's what Murphy's Law does. Right. Tiny candles and well, I'm on a 240 though. So they're, they're, everybody's scared of that thing, just like we are, okay? We're getting the break now of the, of the uh, pound New Zealand. This is what we've been waiting for here. So we get a hook back up here, all right? Now, remember, what is it? We only got 20 minutes till, till it closes, till the market closes, all right? A hook back up and you get the momentum. Target one is right here, and you don't want to miss this trade right here. That is a big member, Jim. Yep. Hey, Pond New Zealand, this. えー、これは、まあ、今このブレイクっていうのを待ってましたよねっていうことで、ブレイクしてきたんで、フック来て、またモメンタムが出てきたら売ってきたよね、一つ目。で、二つ目っていう、このトレードは逃したくないよねって言ってます。Pretty carefully here.、Yeah. Right. So, all right, remember what I said. If it breaks this line to the downside, I'm going to wait for the pullback up here and take the trade off for a very small loss. You see that? That's right. Or when you've been trading 11 years, you stick to your rules. It's not the last trade in the forex, right, Ron? All right, so remember, if it breaks this line, can everybody see this is the bounce point right here? That is the bounce point. It can easily come down here and test that and bounce up. So, I don't want to exit the trade when I'm at a bounce point. But if it breaks this bounce point, then I know it's not going to work. Remember? And the retracement will happen. Every candle retraces virtually. So, when it breaks down in here, when it retraces back up, you take the trade off and you take a 10 pip loss. Can you handle a 10 pip loss? Yes. All right? So, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it.、Uh, I won't be in the room, but we'll keep an eye on it. So. All right, where are we at?、Uh, EuroCAD.、Oh, we did, already did that one. Uh, all the New Zealand, all the pound, the, the, the yen crosses, we can't. We're going to break right here, right now. Get a hook back on this. We're going to be interested for those of you who can trade pound New Zealand. Let's see if we're getting the hook back. We are getting the hook back, as you can see. Break, hook, and go. All right, so there's a breakdown. There's a hook back up. What are we waiting for? The go. I would love to see it come back all the way here, but you can see it doesn't have to because there's the support, which is now resistant. That support is resistant. So we may have had the hook. Uh, uh, no, I haven't seen that, AP.、Uh, so, so, if this turns to the downside, you can change the pound New Zealand. It's going to be a good trade, or it should be. I don't know if it's going to be a good trade, but it should be. All right, we're waiting for the bounce on XAG. We came down, we took the bottom out. We're now bouncing. We've got a set of twins here. As you can see, they're bouncing up. This is a bull flag, all right, in the market. So we're looking for, this is a one, two, three, four, looking for five up in this area. So, those of you who trade XAG, nice move up there if we get it. Pound cheap, we're looking for the sell, but as you know, they're buying dollars and the pound cheap follows the dollar. So、uh, we're back up to the top of the descending wedge. Can we all see this is the place where they turn it? If they turn it to the downside, it's still viable to go here. If they break this, Now, when the day chart trend is in the fourth effect, and you'll be looking to go right up to here, right there. So, first target would be the R3 around 4375. The second target would be up there around 4450. Pond New Zealand なんですけども、下に抜けてきたら売りますし、えー、上に抜けてきたら R1234 ですね、を狙っていきたいねと。Pond France. We're looking for the bounce. Big time, we're looking for the bounce. If we can get this bounce, 
we do not want to miss this trade because you can see to the upside there's a big wide open space right up in here all right and this this zone we're going to, then we'll have another wide open space above here but well, we've got to get the bounce there's a small trade right in here if you take this trade right here you're only trying to that's not the trade you're trying to get in position for that one so that when you enter up here and ex enter your second position up here the profit of trade one covers the risk of trade two all right uh, okay, I'll, I'll take a look at it, AP. Board. Pond OG, ですね。Pond OG は上の方にトレードしていきたくて、まず一つ目、で二つ目、三つ目といきたいんですけども、二つ目がワイドオープンスペースになっていますと。で、一つ目エントリーした方は、二つ目のエントリーをしていくときに、まあもう一つ目のポジションの利,、えー、利益が、二つ目のポジションのリスクを補ってくれますよねと。はい、というわけで、えーまあ、今日のセッションにキャップここまでです。<笑>また明日ですね、やっていきましょう。それではどうもありがとうございました。失礼します。